Hi my grade 12 student. So in this video we are going to do one of the question paper that was written in 2023 at Northwest Province. So in this question paper guys I find it more different. That's why I said that I need to do it so that all of you you can know the possibility that this kind of question you can find it in your exam or you can find it in your test. Alright so in this question paper guys we are going to do accounting equation which is under a company all right so but before we go to accounting equation guys we have a column a and column b that we just gonna go through quick then after that we go to our main topic okay number 1.1 under column a and b they said internal auditor we have to match it with an alphabet okay so if you check uh, internal auditor is going to match with number C. The reason is because when we talk about internal auditor, this is the person employed by the company to ensure good internal control procedure. So which means that number C is going to be correct answer. Then number 1.1.2, memorandum of incorporation. So answer for this one is number E, the documents that establish the rules and the procedure of the company is called memorandum of incorporation so the answer is number e the following one is limited liability okay limited liability number d indicate that the company has legal personal personality of its own which means that if the company is bankrupt they don't take the assets of the owner they only take what is belonging to to the business there is a limited liability number d okay then number 1.1.4 directors number a appointed by shareholder to manage the company a directors appointed by the shareholders number a okay and the last one is obvious is going to be number b the body responsible for registration of a company cipc is the body that regulate the company so even our company guys accounting solution sa has been registered under cipc so if you want to register your company which means that you have to use uh, this body to register your company all right now we are going to accounting equation all right so but i hope guys you are one of those who subscribed if you didn't subscribe guys Please make sure that you subscribe. It's free of charge. You are not going to be charged anything just to subscribe. To subscribe simply means that follow. The more you subscribe, guys, the more we upload more new videos because we can see that this channel is growing fast. It's helping someone out there. Okay, you can also support us, guys, by uh, those who can be able to support us. You can uh, support us by buying one of our study guide which is accounting solution sa so it's a study guide that have a lot of questions and lot of memorandum and a lot of previous question paper that come with the solution as well okay you can just whatsapp us on whatsapp the guide is only 1400 it's only a soft copy all right now let's proceed 1.2.1 is accounting equation we are writing a debit and a credit then after that you write the amount and then you're going to indicate under asset equity and liability okay they said you have to indicate a plus or minus or zero if there is no effect okay 1.2.1 you can go through the example that i'm not going to go through in this video 1.2.1 the company issue additional 250 share at the rand per share Okay, which means that we have to multiply, guys, in order for us to get amount. If you multiply, guys, you're going to get amount of 750. We issued share. If we issued share, guys, obviously, our bank is going to increase. Let's start from bank. Because we receive money from those who purchase what? Share is going to be plus here. Our bank has increased. What else is going to increase? Is ordinary share capital. Now we have more shareholders, which means that our equity is going to increase. Capital 
it's a plus. If this side is gonna be unchanged. So this is how you should answer number one. Okay, number two, the company bought back 50,000 share at four rand per share. And the average issue price of share was straight win. Be careful about this one of share buyback, guys. If they said this share was uh, bought back by four rand, you don't multiply by four rand. Why? Some amount is for ordinary share capital, some amount, the loss, let me just say the loss is for what? Is for retained income. Okay. Average price is the one that we record under ordinary share capital. And the balance between the purchase price and average, we call it a loss that go to retain income and reduce what? A profit. Okay. Let's start with the first one of average, which is going to affect ordinary share capital. Because in this case, uh, guys, we, we bought back, which means that our bank is going to do what? To decrease. We pay money to those shareholders so that we can get back our shares, which means that it's going to be minus. So, which means that you are going to say 50,000 multiplied by 320. Then you are going to get amount of 160. Okay? Amount is going to be 160,000. What are we going to debit? Because uh, we bought back share, which means that our shareholders, we have to remove them. Ordinary share. We have to remove them from ordinary share capital account, those shareholder. Okay, this account is going to have two transactions because the other one I said is going to subtract what? Retain income. Retain income and subtract what? A bank. Remember in this case we multiply 50,000 by 320, which means that now we are going to multiply a 50,000 by what? Different between 4 rand and 320, which is 80 cent. 50,000 multiplied by 80 cent is going to give us an amount of 40,000. 40,000, we just multiply 80 cent, 0, 0,8 multiplied by 50,000 share. Then it's going to give you this one. So our bank has decreased and retaining income, our profit has decreased. This side is unchanged. Very simple. All right, now. We are going to the last one. The last one, they said income tax assessment for the year was received. The income tax amount is 720, exceeded the provisional tax payment made. So in this case, we have to recognize a tax expense of 720. So in other words, we are owing liability plus we are owing liability of 720. 720. Our liability has increased because we have to pay this money to SARS. Okay, so we have income tax expense. Income tax expense, guys, we debited income, income tax expense. Why we debit it? Because under our equity, remember, guys, we use this rule plus minus equity. Minus plus liability is minus plus. We use uh, this rule. Expense come to the debit side. That's why we debit it. Okay. Then now liability because it's going to increase. That's why we're crediting what? SARS income tax. This one we call it SARS income tax income tax so these two accounts you can see guys they are not the same income tax expense sars income tax these two they are not the same this one is liability and this one is what it's an expense okay it's going to be a minus and this side is going to be unchanged so if you do all these guys you are going to get 20 marks for free in this question paper so thank you so much for watching guys please go to playlist for grade 12 and check other videos see you